In this video, we're going to enable Travis CI for our GitHub project. Travis is a really useful continuous integration tool that lets us automate some of the tests and checks on our project every time we push it to GitHub. For example, every time we push a change to GitHub, we can make it run our Python unit tests and our Python linting. So if there is any issues with our code, we can see straight away via an email notification that the build is broken. Setting up Travis CI is easy. All we need to do is head over to travisci.org and you can sign up or sign in with your GitHub account. And this will automatically pull in all your GitHub projects available to enable with Travis. You can see I already have some projects here. You might not have any projects in yours. So you want to click on the plus symbol. And I created the recipe app API under my organization. But if you don't have, if you didn't create it under a GitHub organization, then it will just be listed here. And if you don't see the project listed here, then you can click sync account to synchronize all of your GitHub accounts into your Travis CI. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna, we're gonna find our recipe app API. This one here, recipe app API. And we're gonna check this box here or this switch. And this is gonna enable our project for Travis CI. And in the next video, we're gonna configure Travis CI. And because we've enabled it already, it should automatically be picked up. Next, we can create our Travis CI configuration file. The Travis CI configuration file is the file that tells Travis what to do every time we push a change to our project. You create a Travis CI configuration file by simply creating a file in the root of the, dire of the project directory called .travis.yml. Just like our Docker Compose file, this is also a YAML file, so the syntax is kind of similar. The first line of our Travis file, we're gonna tell it what language Travis, we need to let Travis expect our project to be in. The language we're gonna use is of course Python, so we just type language colon Python. Next, we can actually specify the version of Python that we need to use. At the time of recording this video, the latest version that is available in the stable channel for Travis is 3.6. However, this doesn't matter because all we're gonna be using our, the Travis server for is to run our Docker image, which will have the correct version of Python, Python 3.7. So next, we're gonna tell Travis what services we need to use. So we're going to just need the Docker service for this and all of the subservices are going to be contained within our Docker compose file and our Docker file configuration. Now we can specify a before script, which is a script that Travis will run before it executes any of the automation commands that we're going to input next. So let's type before script colon and before it runs anything, we need to install Docker Compose. So we're gonna do that by typing pip install docker-compose. Next, we specify the script. So we type script colon, and we're gonna run our Docker Compose, our Docker Compose command for running our tests. So let's type docker-compose run app sh hyphen c and then python manage.py test and let's also run our linting tool which we're going to install in our project in a bit a linting tool is going to be called flake 8. so we're going to run every time we push a change to github travis is going to spin up a python server running python 3.6 it's going to make the, the Docker service available. It's going to use pip to install Docker Compose. And then finally, it's going to run our script. And if this exits with a failure, then it will fail the build and it will send us a notification. All right, so let's save that Travis file. And next, we need to add this Flake 8 linting tool to our requirements.txt file. So like we did before, we're going to look up the latest version on PyPy, the Python package index. 
and we want to find the latest version of Flake 8. And we're going to use version 3.6.0. So let's type Flake 8 more than equals 3.6.0 and less than equals 3.7.0. And you're welcome to install the latest version at the time you're running the steps. However, I highly recommend for following this course, you use the this specific version 3.6.0 because then we can guarantee that the steps are gonna be exactly the same for this course and when you're following at home. Okay, so let's save that requirements file. And next, let's add a Flake 8 config. And we do that within our Python project. So within the actual Django app, I'm going to create a new file here called .flake8 and we're going to start by flake8 in square brackets and we're just going to add some exclusions because we're going to exclude some of the automated scripts and tools that are created by Django because they actually have a um, the Django word to a 100 character limit whereas I like to work my projects to the, the 79 character limit. Um, so I exclude all the Django stuff so it doesn't fail on the linting um, when you run that. So we're going to exclude migrations. We're going to exclude PyCache. We're going to exclude manage.py and finally settings.py. Okay, let's save that. Next, we can commit and push our changes. So if we type git add and we do git commit hyphen a and you do the message added flake 8 and Travis CI configuration and let's push this to github right now so git push origin and then let's go and take a look at our Travis page if we look here in the Travis CI project and let's locate our project that we enabled in the previous video and here if you look at branches you can see that it's already started a build for our new changes that we put on the master branch. Now the build can take a few minutes to process because every single time it runs a build, it has to spin up a server. And in my experience, it can take anywhere between a couple of minutes to about 10 minutes, depending on how many dependencies and how complex your project is. This is quite a small project, so I expect that this will only take a minute or two. You can see that the uh, workers started here and you can actually follow the outputs as it goes along. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. Okay, if you scroll down here, you can actually see that it is now building our Docker image. This is the Docker image that we define. So it's installing the Django dependency. So it shouldn't be long now. It's going to just finish in, it's going to create our image and then it's going to run the commands we specified in the using Docker Compose basically. So you can see it ran the tests. There are no tests because we haven't created any yet, but it still passed with okay, so that's good. And then it ran Flake 8 and it all ran with um, exit with zero, which is good. Exit with zero means that there were no errors outputted in the shell commands. Okay, so that's how you configure the project for Travis CI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.